Well, hi. How are you? It's good to see you again. It's always a fucking pleasure. You get a general idea what this is about. This is a uh, Michonne figurine. And I wasn't going to do this video, but I was, I'm, um, you know, revising a little, you know, little projects here and there, trying to get my, you know, head in one direction. Uh, it's going to take some time. But I was talking with Eric, and he had asked what I was doing, and I said, well, one thing I did was I, this was on the floor, and I repaired it. There you go. Now we're getting it. Now we're cooking with Crisco. And I don't know where I got this. It may have been on Amazon. It's a sword stand uh, for the Walking Dead katana. And it had, you know, like, kind of like falling apart. It came unglued. And I glued it. And also, uh, at one time, I bought the Michonne figurine and you know I'm a katana fan movie katana fan and you know her arms they move and she has a little hole in her boot and I don't know where the plate went but it's it's well done I've, I oh shit I've had this for a very 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 long time well done piece I also have Rick and Glenn and um, Daryl but the reason I wanted this one, and her sword comes out of her hand, it just comes out like that. You know, pretty cool. I still have the boxes for all of them, all the figurines, but I'm not quite sure if, uh, if she, I think she may have had different arms. You know, I, I, I can't recall. But anyway, here, here's the, you know, here's why I thought of doing this. Let's get her out of the way. A um, long time back, I did some research on the Michelle Katana. That goes in just like that. Well, it fits in like that. If you don't have all this, this other wonky stuff in the way, which I do, there we go. Now we're kind of like getting somewhere, okay? So it, the reason, this is a, this is a Ryan sword, uh, Michonne replica, Michonne replica, okay, and the reason I went with this, and I added this little, uh, carabiner, carabiner, you know, I, I added that because that's what she has, and I think I replaced, I don't know if this strap came with it, but, or I added that later. But, you know, a lot of people say, well, Ryan Sword. Ryan Sword, you know, is a delamination. You know, that was way back when, like, geez, 10 years ago. You know, delamination, Ryan Sword. Don't buy them. This is the only one, one of the, I have like four katanas that I keep out on racks. And this is one of them. But the stitching on here is, is I mean, it's just, it's, it's great. It, it's really well done. Hopefully my lighting is working enough to, to give an impression of it. It's very well done. And if you look at, uh, this sword has done very, very good. This leather does not stop here. A lot of them, you know, they say AMC or, you know, whatever. They're just, they're just fucking wall hangers. The, the leather would stop there and the wrapping would continue under, you know, over it. You know, and it's really hokey. I, I didn't like that. The knots on this are very good. Like I said, this is Ryan's sword. And this thing is about, I don't know seven seven years old okay um very tight very well done this handle has gotten a little bit tarnished a little bit well you know you hang on to it and you don't wash your hands the ray skin underneath here is, is really nice 
really nice. The Makugis are nice, uh, or Manukis, or whatever the fuck they're called. You got one peg, and you got a peg up here, okay? and you got a peg down here, and you got another Makugi back there. And a biohazard part on the end, you have the biohazard part right here. Now, this is not an exact, exact replica. It's not. But what it is, is a working katana in a lot better quality. Then you're going to find, and this thing is sharp, and it came sharp, okay, and it has a little, almost like a little Damascus pattern, okay, it is a very well done piece, very well balanced, very nicely, it has the has the emblem right here, the biohazard emblem. It doesn't have AMC Michonne replica number whatever, it doesn't. But this is a working katana. Very tight. I've used this. I like it. It's a little on the heavy side, but it's not a, a normal white katana. Let me show you something. Watch this. I have not sharpened this. This thing is sweet. It's a very well done, it's been used. I got scratches on it. It has a nice fuller. It is, it's just, it is a, and like I said, it has this Damascus-like uh, layering. Is it Damascus? I don't know, you know, from the last I heard. You know, nobody knows how Damascus was made, and for somebody to say it's Damascus, I have no idea. I have no idea. But it is a very, very nice sword. It's my one and only Ryan sword. I have no other one. None. And they did a real good job. They did a stand-up job on it. I mean, there is a... Let's get this out of here. Oops. You'd be surprised what kind of wonky setup I have for this lighting. Look at the Saya. Nice leather stitching. And this is like, like I said, this is like eight years old. Okay? This is held together. You see some of the other replicas, and they stop with the leather. And then it's like wood, and it's very, it's ugly looking. It, and it doesn't hold together. Okay? Call Ryan Sword what you will, but this one, they did a very nice job. Construction, fittings, just overall, it's a working, when they say battle ready, I hate that term, but this is a working katana. And I would have no doubt that it, it would take a beating. None at all. I've used it, I haven't abused it, but we've had fun. And on that note, I have to go now. If you don't like Ryan's sword, fuck off. I don't care. I don't care. I just don't have that much. I, I don't care. <laughs> if you don't, don't buy it, you know, okay? On that note, I have to go now, I'm terribly busy, we'll see you.